Hello Scorpios and welcome to your September 2022 reading. So I meditated on your energy. The first card that I have is the Hermit. So of course we're in Virgo season so you're probably going to embody the Virgo energy right now. What is guiding me? What is in my light? How am I, um, you know, aligning myself with, uh, you know, because we will have the full moon in Pisces uh, this month also, which, you know, is right in front of Virgo here, sixth house. How am I taking this and uh, balancing it in my daily life? What is in my lantern? Okay, as I walk in life guided by my knowledge, my wisdom, my spiritual connection, my inner light. The second card that I have is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, in this case here, right now, it's reversed. Upright, that would be, you know what? I come back from my past traumas, heartaches, hard events, uh, past period of a cycle. I come back from it, I understand the lesson, and now I am cheered by um, the world, and my willpower is in peace and in harmony. After, But now it's in reverse. So there's something preventing this at this point. And this month you'll be able to put your finger on what is preventing you to, um, you know, when we're in a six of uh, wands, we are not conflicted anymore about the next steps in our lives. Uh, we're, we don't have to put our own boundaries or anything like that. There's this inner acknowledgement of where we are and so on. The next card is the star. So here there's going to be a release, an emotional release, which will allow you to um, align yourself with your star, with your um, aspiration with your soul, with cosmic intelligence so that you can receive uh, new water from the divine. Under the hermit, we have the page of wands in reverse. So that means the page of wands would have been, you know, that energy to embark into the new path, embark into the new venture, the new passion with enthusiasm and innocence. When it's reversed, we have mm, there's something blocking us. It's there, but there's something blocking us from actually embarking as a page. And then we have the Eight of Swords and the world in reverse. So here we're talking about a mental prison. So there is still beliefs that are preventing you from actually moving forward, embarking, getting out of that mental prison, yes, but, yes, but, and finishing, really finishing the past cycle. Under the Six of Wands, I have the Seven of Swords, and here we have the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So th there's this part of you that can be disempowered or disempowering, okay? Seven of Swords, uh, juggling your old reality with the possible new one, when within and outside are not balanced. As above, so below is not balanced. Uh, there's a new seed there that something is blocking you, like it's like your past cycle is done. You cannot carry the past cycle and embark into a new cycle at the same time. You, you'll always be juggling, okay? And we change cycles once we're conscious of the new cycle and we let go of what was forming the past one. So th these two don't work together. So we end up, you know, smiling and feeling bad inside or doing that kind of balancing act. Uh, within our life and our inner life. Under the star, we have temperance. And of course, temperance is all about that brewing of the emotions of the waters within us so that we can 
uh, arrive to a point after purifying and purifying, we arrive to a point where we can see the bigger picture. And therefore, this will allow us to put ourselves out there again, the foot in the water again. This is temperance. So, of course, divine timing will be the moment that the water is clear enough for you to be able to conceive and believe and allow the next step into your life. And under that we have the Queen of Cups. So of course, uh, that's your feminine side because this is all about, it's not in your actions, it's in your perception and what you are allowing yourself uh, to do and what you believe. This is all in the invisible part. Let's clarify this. In the bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Sword. Okay. I call upon the Divine. I call upon the Light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Scorpio for the month of September. 2022. Scorpios. Okay, show me the hermit. Why is the hermit here for Scorpios? Why is the hermit here? For Scorpios. Here is the juggling. And here is another feminine, the Queen of Sword. So we know that the, the, the hermit is guided by his inner light. But one has to be able to read what the inner light is actually shedding a light on. Okay? And that's the Queen of, of Swords uh, role, how, what, how we perceive what is in front of us, our reality, through which filter are we analyzing or perceiving um, events, opportunities, uh, what people say, how people act. All of this is filtered through the Queen of Sword. If she's healed, then she sees with wisdom if she's still wounded or still holding on to certain principle, she will see them through that lens and therefore have a certain vision that can hurt her as much as it can hurt outside of her. Uh, here we have a repeat of the Two of Pentacles. And as you can see, the Two of Pentacles should be like this. It is this balanced. So the flow of the invisible into the visible, the spiritual, material, feminine, masculine, in this dual world is unbalanced. And in the back we have the crazy waves here because it is due to things in our waters that prevents the flow of us receiving. That's why those boats cannot come to shore, okay? Uh, so we're in this... Uh, you know, we're just m making it. And here, a bit like faking it until it happens. But the hick is into what we are holding on. And not finishing. Okay? Let's look at that six of wands. Six of wands. All right. We have the moon, we have the wheel of fortune, we have the king of cups in reverse, and it opened on nine of sword, eight of sword, nine of sword. There's, there's something obsessing your mind, okay, that you're wondering how, how is this possible, how can, can it happen, or, you know, old demons coming up to the surface. The answer is in your waters, your deep waters. When we have the moon, that 
it's all about the fact that um, we don't have anything obvious outside of us that's going to tell us this is the way, this is what it is. We can only rely on our, on our intuition, on our inner world, inner connections. And because of that, this is a period also where old stuff has to come to the surface so that it stops influencing you, preventing you from actually embarking totally uh, in the new cycle in your life, letting die totally um, the past cycle, understanding the lesson and letting it go. And you're a Scorpio. This is supposed to be uh, your easy streak. But it can also be your challenge because at the same time, you know, what we're good at can also be our best handicap. So the moon and the king of uh, cups, your masculine side, needs to be like this. So that means that even if there are emotional baggages out there, they will not affect you. Because what would have resonated with it within yourself will come up to the surface so you can understand it and so that you can move on to the next cycle. Oh, that was quick. The star, ace of cup, and here I have the two of cup. So it's all about allowing more water in. Maybe for some of you, a new connection or just experimenting connections in your life on a new level. Let's look at that page of wands. Page of wands for Scorpios. Page of wands for Scorpio. Uh, chariot, four of, and I, see I have the little head of a two of, of cups. It's like if you're holding on to a past relationship a past connection and everything it meant. It doesn't have to be the greatest, you know, like, oh, I had the greatest connection in the world and I'm holding on to it, or I had the worst connection in the world and I'm holding on to what it was. Because for me, that is what new connections in my life will be. The chariot is all about being able to actually move past it because we are going to rely on what is my aspiration, my eight-pointed star. What is my aspiration? Here, the chariot has that star on his forehead. This is what it is guiding him. And it, the strongest that aspiration is, the more is conscious and is unconscious. Instead of being disbalanced, you know, the shadow and the light, the yin, yang, like a, all of that. Instead of being disbalanced and going in two uh, different directions, creating one car wreck after another, um, it's going to be allowed to um, go in the same direction. So we cannot remain safe, not moving, holding on to past to the past, and at the same time embarking into the new. They don't fit together. So let's look at the world and the Eight of Sword. So we got to finish the past and let it go. The world and the Eight of Sword. If you remain in your head about it and holding on out of fear, um, fear of things repeating or fear of whatever it was during that past cycle here in lesson, uh, you will not be moving. Five of Pentacle Magician in Reverse. That past experience that you're holding on to uh, probably had to do with uh, feeling abandoned, feeling uh, in there we have that kind of five of pentacle it's all about you know i'm giving much more than what i'm receiving 
It's a card of sacrifice. It's a card of unbalance. Uh, Five of Pentacles is, um, you know, I feel I'm not enough. Uh, and Magician in Reverse, I'm looking at things happening, but I am not manifesting it. Um, because the magician in reverse, you know, this, this can be when we are just witnessing our life away, but we're not actually participating in it. Um, or that, um, you know, we've been uh, very much so manipulated or learned to manipulate, to compensate for the five of pentacle. So... There's something around that for you. Of course, you're going to, you know, know exactly uh, what it is for you. And, you know, it's it's always we have to look at not just, yes, I went through that hardship, but what did I develop to compensate for that hardship? If we want to grow, we have to be humble on both sides uh, and, and very honest with ourselves. Let's look at that five of swords, uh, seven of swords, sorry. And that's the thief in the night, okay? That's um, feeling, believing, I should say, based on feelings, but believing that we've been robbed by the, the universe. Let's say something was taken from you, and you feel that, things were really unbalanced and the universe is unfair and I can't trust it. Of course, you will have a hard time embarking into something new. You will hold on to the proofs you have of that fact because you've lived it. And this will prevent you from being completely uh, releasing and allowing new experiences from the same universe you don't trust that betrayed you and that uh, left you for granted or abandoned you or whatnot. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, now you're ready. Seven of, so seven of swords, five of swords, and the knight of wands in reverse. So that, you know, this is when we cannot be in the here and the moment and follow our passion. We're in our head and our ego wants to be right about what we've went through and we're not ready to let it go and let it die at all to allow that knight of cup to actually come in two of pentacle we're juggling we want love we want to receive it but we need to let go of the old sadness and the grievings so that our king of cup now upright the moment that you are going to release the juggling because here the two of pentacle is in reverse. Still the page of pentacle is uh, um, in reverse also. So here we're starting to stop juggling, but we still haven't planted the new or grasped the new. Um, maybe we've grasped it, you know, maybe you're in it, but you're not in it, if you know what I mean. But at least this month, you are going to start to release the old sad waters within yourself. And that's why by doing so, the universe will be able to actually let you receive that Ace of Cup temperance. And that's going to be the divine timing when you're going to be able to grasp that new cup. And being a water sign, I'm not surprised that things have to start with water. Like emotionally receiving it within yourself that is going to allow you to actually um, embark with your fire and follow up with, um, yeah, follow up with the energy. So that means here there's another release on what you were holding on to, to, to protect yourself, not to hurt like you did in the past cycle. And here now the, the magician is upright. So yes. Now I'm going to bring that new thing and manifest it into the new Queen of Cups. I'm going to allow that cup to come in. 
That's your feminine. That's a role. King of sword. And here we have the six of sword. It's still a bit uh, in reverse. So maybe for some of you at the end of the month, you will not have quite turned the page, not quite uh, truly let go, but there's this beautiful advancement arriving here um, to find peace, serenity, be okay with that new cycle happening. <sighs> but for that, there's a lot of release that needs to happen, Scorpio. Because right now it's influencing the way you perceive things and your capacity to, com to commit, to embark, to be light in the process of starting your next cycle. So I would, I would say releasing, because that's going to be the major, uh, that's what's going to allow that Ace of Cup to be accessible to you. And at one point, you'll be able to actually take it and so on. But this month, the major energy for you will be the releasing and the finishing of your past cycle. So on this, my beautiful Scorpio, I am sending you all my love and light. Thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Uh, if you want a private reading, my two amazing nieces made a website for me. Uh, and so all of the booking and the information will be through that website. Uh, it's going to be on uh, active Saturday, the 3 of September, because on the Friday we'll still be uh, tweaking. So, um, yeah. It's going to be, uh, the address is going to be uh, below, uh, probably www.mysticwitchtarot.com, I think it is. And uh, also, thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. It helps more than you think. And uh, of course, on the new moons, I do a little ceremony to give you back. We've just had the new moon in Virgo, and the next new moon will be in Libra. Uh, so, on this, love and light, and I'll see you next month, alright?